A good rule of thumb that can be applied at any moment is to move up and away from the ball if the teammate isn't being pressed, and to move towards the ball if he's under pressure. Let's make an example. Suppose your centre back is in possession and you're the holding midfielder. If the centre back isn't being pressed by the opposition striker, then the holding mid should move away from the ball past the opposition's first line of press. Because by doing this, it could create a quick passing lane for the centre back and break the first pressing line. Let's say the holding mid does the opposite and moves towards his teammate to create an immediate immediate passing option. Well, all this does is mean the striker can instantly mark two players. A pass into the holding mid would simply be closed down, and now the team has one less option in midfield to move the ball forward. However, if the centre back is under pressure, then the holding mid in this case should move towards the ball to give the centre back an outlet option. Dropping either side of the striker could work, but moving behind the striker and receiving the ball indirectly could be even more beneficial for the team. 